Hey guys, how's it going? This is going to be my video on how to do the paracord wrap for your Maritac AAA flashlight, or any flashlight for that matter, that has a flared, flared base on both ends. Um, what you will need is about two and a half feet of paracord just to be safe, um, and a lighter. So let's start by singeing these ends, getting all that crap off of there. Very hard to do looking through a viewfinder. Okay, so let's see. Hmm, lovely. Don't you just love uh, running out of gas? Okay. Which, give me that. Uh, I think I prefer Zippo for pretty much everything that I do. Less precision, but you know, it's, it's good. Good, reliable Zippo. Okay, so first, find the middle of your paracord, which is right here. Okay, then place that behind your flashlight. Okay, now your first step is to bring over your, well, since I'm a righty, and this is easier for me, bring over your right piece, your right strand, then take your left strand and do like so. Don't really know how to explain it all that well, but, okay, and then tighten it up. It should look something like that. Okay. Your next step is to bring the opposite side across. Do the same thing with the opposite strand. Bring it through the loop that you've created and then tighten. Make sure that uh, your two little loops on the side here are even. Just let me make this look nice. Okay. Okie dokie. So that's what it should look like after your second pass. Then you bring your opposite. Whichever piece the of cord is coming out the side, that's the one you start with. So since this one is coming out of the side, we'll start with that. Make a little loop just by passing it in front. Go down, back, and around, and then pull it through the loop. Then tighten. Uh, can't see what I'm doing through the viewfinder. Okay. Tighten that up pretty good. And that's your sink. Okay. I'm going to finish up here and then get to the end. You will do the same thing all the way down. And I'll do one more pass just so you guys get it. Side that's come the piece that's coming out of the side, bring in front. Take your opposite piece, put it in front of that, bring it behind and wrap it around. Then you tighten. Okay. Once that is done, then you just keep moving down until you hit the end of the base. So I'll be right back after I do that and then I'll show you the finishing steps. Okay guys, this is what it should look like when you have finished your wrap. As you can see, one's coming out the side and one's coming out the front. This is the same side that we started with. Okay, so our next step, just let me get adjusted here so I'll be able to do this pretty precise. Okay, our step next step is to cut off the ends and singe them which may seem simple but a lot of people screw this up so just make sure it's good and tight around the base then get your knife nice handy dandy mini grip tillion cut about about that right about here because you want to leave a little bit cut that off bring your lighter out here Okay, melt that down, then dab it across. 
you want to like smear it a little bit over the edge so it doesn't come loose. So let me reheat that and then smear it a little bit more. Okay, you guys see that? Uh, we will do this with both sides. I'm just going to make this nice and perfect so it doesn't come loose. Okay. This lighter needs filled as you probably saw in the last part. So let's cut the opposite end off. Hmm. Right about there. Sorry if I wasn't in frame. Get your lighter. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, bugger. I kind of burnt a little bit there. Probably should have done it like this, but oh well, this is just a demonstration. Come on. Yeah, precision lighters help quite a bit. But not if you don't know how to aim them. Okay. So there you go. And you are finished. Nice, fairly good looking wrap if you can get it right, which I kind of burnt it a little bit there. But it provides quite a bit of grip for your flashlight. I really like this. really like the grip. And if you guys like it, make it yourself. It's pretty simple, like I showed you. And it's very good for as, as a grip. So, I'll see you guys later. Oh, by the way, if you guys didn't watch my last review, just a little demonstration on how bright this light is. This is medium, low, and high. Let me turn off the light there. It can actually, like, shine through my finger. And sometimes if you... I don't... This camera doesn't show it, but you can actually see the veins in my finger. I think that's pretty cool. You can actually see through your hand, too. So... I don't know, just just playing around here with you guys, but very bright. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you guys later.